The retinal nerve fiber layer is related to the anterior visual pathway and contains the axon from the retinal ganglion cells that form the optic nerve. Because the axons of the ganglion cells are devoid of myelin until they penetrate the lamina cribrosa in the ethmoid bone, the um, evaluation of the retinal nerve fiber layer thickness has been, has been used to assess the axonal integrity in the anterior visual pathway and by extension throughout the whole central nervous system. Optical coherence tomography is a retinal visualization technique for cross-sectional imaging of the internal tissue microstructure. It has been used in a number of neurological conditions such as multiple sclerosis, cerebrovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, dementia, to assess the degree of axonal injury and to eventually monitor disease progression. In epilepsy, we previously reported a strong linear direct relationship between retinal nerve fiber layer thickness and visual field size in people with epilepsy with the history of previous exposure to vigabatrin. Widespread neural degeneration has been already shown in chronic human epilepsy and in most animal models of focal epileptogenesis. Optical coherence tomography is a fast, reproducible, well-tolerated and non-invasive technique. When compared to other techniques uh, for assessing people with epilepsy, it is uh, not subject to temporal sampling issue like EEG, is much cheaper than MRI and can be performed by easily trained operators. We postulated that there are common biological mechanisms underlying both neural degeneration and retinal nerve fiber layer change in epilepsy. We therefore hypothesized that retinal nerve fiber layer thinning would occur in people with epilepsy, independent of previous vigabatrin exposure, and would be associated with clinical and neuroradiological features of epilepsy. We included 300 people with epilepsy attending specialist clinic and 90 healthy subjects in this cross-sessional court study. Retinal nerve fiber layer imaging was performed by using spectral domain optical coherence tomography. We demonstrate that people with epilepsy on treatment but who have not previously been exposed to vigabatrin have a thinner retinal nerve fiber layer than healthy subjects. Retinal thickness is related to a longer duration of epilepsy, presence of drug resistant and intellectual disability. In the subset of people with epilepsy and available MRI data, uh, brain parenchymal fracture is related to retinal nerve fiber layer thickness. Only drug resistance emerges as an independent predictor of retinal nerve fiber layer thinning in a multivariate logistic regression model. In fact, people with drug-resistant epilepsy have a two-fold odds of thinning compared with uh, no, people with non-resistant epilepsy. Retinal nerve fiber layer thickness might be considered as an objective, complementary and reputable measure of drug resistance in epilepsy and possibly disease severity. Furthermore, our results provide a basis for better understanding of mechanisms of neurodegeneration in epilepsy.